Welcome back everyone. So we are days away from going into the new year, the last year of the 2010s, 2019. So I thought I'd do a kind of get to know you, welcome to the new year, little challenge video, but we are looking at the Zodiac today and just kind of picking colors based off of your Zodiac and a poor style based off your Zodiac. I pulled out this eight by eight gallery wrap. So this is going to be the canvas I am using today. And I did some research already and pulled out some colors and I'll go over them. To get started, the research I decided to go and try to find anybody that didn't know, I'm an Aquarius. Aquarius falls in January 21st to February 18th. I just wanted to find anything that mentioned any kind of colors, any kind of flow to them, anything that might help pick out a paint style. And so everything I was looking at and finding keeps talking about Aquarius being known for turquoise, aquamarine, electric blue. So like for the electric blue I decided to go with the Sharon Williams Hyper Blue. It talks about the progressive humanitarian has distinct affinity with sky blue or azure blue. So I pulled out this Calypso blue from Sharon Williams. Aquamarine, light blue. So I grabbed the aqua from Color Shift. No wonder I'm always probably using this. And then it talks about the planet and the modern ruler, which was Uranus, which is the electric blue. Then it talks about the traditional ruling planet for Aquarius, which was Saturn. And it talks about blacks and silvers. So I grabbed some black and I grabbed some silver, added it to the list. Another page I even found talked about um, tarot cards and the star card is represented by Aquarius. The star card brings ins inspiring, healing, and idealistic energies that help envision a perfect world we want to create. Everything I find just talks about restless energy and flow and movement and bioelectrical impulses, <laughs> whatever then. I figured once I got the colors, all pulled aside. I'm just gonna do a little corner to corner because Aquarius don't like uniformity off the wall against the grain. For the negative space, white background, and then we're just going to do a dirty pour and I'm just gonna go back and forth down the center and gives me a chance to play with the air compressor since Aquarius isn't a water sign, it's actually an air sign. So I thought, hey, having that flow like water but coming in using the air to push it out and give it those wispy edges. Thought it would be a fun challenge. So according to everything I found about Aquarius, we're humanitarians and we need to be center stage. Most of the stuff I tried to find was based off the colors. Let's see if this tells us anything about who I am. It says Aquarius have innovative nature. Maybe that's why I'm always trying to come up with something new and innovative. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot more on the, the net about Aquarius if you want to research it. it. Might help to understand me a little bit more, but as far as being the Aquarius I am, yeah, so that's the pour we're going to do. We're gonna start with a white base, and then come in and do a dirty pour back and forth diagonally. Use the air compressor to blow it out. And I'm gonna do all that time lapse for you. And then we'll be back to see how it turns out at the end. So I will see you guys in a bit.
Okay, so got a little bit cleaned up. Used the excess paint. I don't know if you guys can see this little guy over here. So I did another painting. Did a little kind of messy, crazy swipe on him. Right, let me see if I can actually bring you guys down. All right, so I had another painting that I had a texture placed on for a while that I never really cared for. So I decided to use the drippings off of these guys to create this fun, grungy kind of looking watery, bubbly mess you see right here, which I'll show you guys in another video when this is dry because it has a fun spiral kind of texture added to it. Here's the tiles that came from my little Aquarius pour, keeping with that fluid flow, keeping with that electric blue. So we were able to create two paintings and five tiles. So yes, my challenge to all of you is go out, research your zodiac, do a quick little video on it, and try to come up with something based off of what you read, like I did for you guys, and that's my challenge to all of you for the new year. But I just wanted to have a fun little challenge to start the new year off and to create some pretty blue artwork for you guys so let me know what you guys think don't forget to hit and check out all my little sites and i will see you guys in the next one ciao